Meaningful metrics on Off The Ball. In partnership with Whoop, the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. See whoop.com for more. Already more of an institution on a Thursday than John Giles. That's how successful Meaningful Metrics has been. It's all in partnership with Whoop, the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. See whoop.com for more. Stephen Kisby Green is with us this evening. Good evening, Stephen. Evening, Nathan. You're giving me the, the Johnny Giles uh, introduction. Oh, well, listen, you got big, a big, lot big to live up to. Uh, football man, John Giles, rugby man, SKG, South African rugby man. But you're not here to talk about South Africa for once. Thank Christ. You're here to talk about <laughs> Ireland against New Zealand. Here's a metric for you. Ireland have never beaten the All Blacks in New Zealand. Bet you didn't know that. I know it's, uh, you, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't have thought so with all the coverage going on this uh, this week. Like it's it's a really hidden stat that 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 one. Um, yeah, I mean I'm I'm, I'm going to try and avoid South Africa as much as I can, but unfortunately they do kind of go into the into the metrics of New Zealand rugby. Um, but yeah, so it's, Ireland have never won in a Test match in New Zealand, um, but they've also never. I mean they, they have come close a couple of times. Most recently, obviously 2012. But you'd probably be surprised that they also came fairly close in the mid, oh, in, in, in the early 1990s. Um, 1992, they were in the House of Pain, Carisbrook, mm. and they lost, uh, they lost 24-21. So like it, it was really the, the dream was close, like as far back as 92, and the the, the, the Irish just just couldn't get over the line. I think you'll find though that. Uh... Last time Ireland toured New Zealand in 2012, Ireland had never beat New Zealand. Whereas since then, it's kind of been one-way traffic. Uh, one-way traffic. Uh, it's even Stevens at the moment uh, mm. since since 2016. It's it's two apiece at the moment uh, since, since since then. I can't even remember the All Blacks beating Ireland since then. I think you'll find Ireland beating the All Blacks is uh, some of our greatest ever memories. Uh, see, uh, I mean, Ireland's basically won the World Cup at this point, right? Like, they, 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 beat, they beat New Zealand three times and then that, that's it they well, won exactly, the World Cup exactly uh, listen Ireland aren't the only <laughs> team with a bad record uh, in New Zealand I'm sure no I mean like New Zealand in general are just a phenomenal team I think if just looking at their general overall stats they've played 612 games or recognised test matches they have won 77.12% of those of those matches. They've only lost 118 matches in total, and they've drawn 22. It is a phenomenal. I mean, this is just um, overall. There's none. It's really difficult to find all the total number of matches that they've won in New Zealand because they don't actually record back as far back as the 1800s. But um, they have an, they have a ridiculous um, test match rec- test match record. Like j- just in New Zealand alone. Um, they they have a like the, their record against Ireland in particular. They they score on average an extra try in New Zealand than they do anywhere else in the world against against Irish. That like the, the, their actual Test match um, record in points scored against Ireland in New Zealand is 35 points. Against Ireland everywhere else in the world, 28 points. They they they, they have an average of that. No. An interesting stat, though, is no matter where Ireland play New Zealand, Ireland's uh, average score is 12.6. Again, you can see where the uh, stats are going here. They score a lot of yeah. points. We don't score that many. No. no. Well, I mean, but th- 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 that's in the history of the of the Test match. And that also goes back into the days when uh, a Test match would, would finish 3-0, and that would be a good match. Like um, the, the, the test match uh, statistics uh, that are actually very interesting if, you, if you're a rugby nerd like myself, and that is eight times the All Blacks have been held scoreless. Okay, I think now now we're losing the run of ourselves. Okay, go on. Eight well, times. I mean, we're, we're talk, talking about um, the, the amount of time that uh, New Zealand score big big numbers. Like, mm. I mean, they beat they beat South Africa 54. 12 or something like something ridiculous not not so long ago so like they're used to running up big totals they've been held scoreless eight times in the, in the history of in the, in the history of their games um and i bet you you cannot name the, the team that did it last oh god I'm like, this is I'll, 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 I'll give you a hint it's a team that has never actually beaten them uh, argentina so, so, no actually they're not they're not one they're not one of the, the they're not one of the teams that have done it it's scotland wow was it a nil nil draw it's, it must have been a nil-nil draw. Was a, They'd never beaten them. It was Are you sure it wasn't abandoned? Draw. No, no, it was a nil-all draw. It was a full-time, 18-minute match. Nil-all draw in Murrayfield. When? 1962. Ah, oh, dear God. 
That was the last time that uh, New Zealand had not sco- not registered a single point. The only team to have ever held, held them nil, uh, well, it was nil all at the time. The only teams who have never conceded a single point against New Zealand in New Zealand is South Africa. Well done. We're delighted and for South Africa. It, it was 1921. So that, ah, that, well, that should give you a... 100 years a, ago. Uh, just over yeah uh, I think you'll find that Ireland beat the All Blacks the last time they played them uh, SKG I'd imagine it's rare enough that a team beats the All Blacks back to back yeah it's never happened uh, in this in the past decade it's never happened in the past well uh, 13 years again you're picking out the stats that South Africans kind of do well in um, the the last team to beat uh, New Zealand two matches in a row that they played them was South Africa and it was back in 2009 where they won all three test matches in that year um, since then New Zealand have only lost back to back test matches against two different oppositions three times in a row and it was only ever twice that they've lost in a row and it was to Argentina Australia South Africa Australia and mo- most recently Ireland Ireland France so if I if, if Ireland can do I mean Ireland can make a huge amount of history if they if they somehow manage to win at Eden Park on Saturday not only because it's Eden Park and we know the records is there but also just the fact that um, it would be the first time the, the Irish have won back to back ever against uh, the All Blacks and it'll be the first time since 2009 that the, the, the All Blacks have lost to the same team twice in a row so 1994, the last time the All Blacks were beaten at Eden Park, 46 tests. Uh, what about Ireland's form then and some of the stats for Ireland heading into this test series? So Ireland are actually, I mean, just looking at th- this year alone, the Six Nations have played five matches so far. And they're actually, um, even though they didn't win the Six Nations, it's difficult to beat that French, th- that, that French side. Um, they're actually looking really strong coming into this into, into the series. Um, again, I'm not taking into I'm not taking into account yesterday's Mario All Black game because the, the it, that wasn't the test. The, 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 the Irish side playing there wasn't really an Irish test side, so you can't really f- take too much from that. So tackle success rates, the Irish have 89%. Now compare that to the entire season last year for the New Zealand of 88%. They're actually, they're, they're, it's much of a muchness really, but they, the Irish do have a bit of an edge on their defensive stats from 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 from, from, uh, from New Zealand. However, if you look at their head-to-head last year in which the Irish won, um, Ireland's defensive stats were abysmal at a 77% success rate. Now at a test match level against New Zealand to beat them with a 77% tackle su- tackle success rate, defense is not necessarily going to be where you're going to win this game. What about the Joe Schmidt factor? What about the Joe Schmidt factor? Well, what 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 is your sense on that? How will that change these metrics? I mean, I don't really necessarily have a a metric for that per se. Oh, actually, I suppose I kind of uh, there's there's one that kind of leans into it, it, and that's the average offload per game. As you kind of alluded to with uh, with Rory O'Connor earlier to, uh, earlier tonight, um, New Zealand last year averaged 12 uh, offloads per game in the entire in the entire over the entire season. So that's 12, 12 per game. Ireland at the moment have eight, on average, according to this year's Six Nations. That beats every New Zealand team at the moment. So across Super Rugby, the 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 New Zealand rugby Super Rugby teams average between seven and nine offloads per game. So they're, Ireland are basically on par with the way that New Zealand are playing rugby at the moment. However, we'd know that if Ireland got two offloads per game under Do Schmidt, that was a lot. Mm. So um, the, the, if if Joe Schmidt has the full control over the New Zealand squad, which I don't think he does. I, th- I think um, he's still being dictated to by his, the actual um, head coaches above. I th- it, but if he but if he were to have the full the full control, you could see New Zealand's um, average offloads going down to maybe lower than seven or eight, maybe even going down as low as five offloads per game. And again, again against a an Irish defence that is a little bit leaky theoretically against New Zealand, uh, based off of the last time they met those offloads will not necessarily they, they would, you, you'd, you'd want those offloads to to come into play because um the irish ruck speed is phenomenal as we know the irish ruck success rate is 97 percent they only lost 17 rucks in the entire in the entire six nations campaign um that's just an incredible stat so new zealand do not want to go to rucks so if joe schmidt is trying to get rid of the offload game as we know he usually does tend to it might actually play in ireland's favor 
So you're the uh, nerdy neutral in off the ball when it comes to Irish rugby. Uh, wh- what's your sense of what will happen on Saturday? Uh, in ge- uh, it's it's a tough one to say because because of because of that Mario Blacks game it, uh, because. Keith Earls realistically will be sp- playing 160 minutes in the span of four days, and uh, he's a wing, so he's going to be tired. Going to should be should be having a lot of running. It's not. I I'm not confident for the Irish, unfortunately. Again, winning winning in Eden Park is something that South Africa has never done, in in, 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 in since since like coming out of isolation. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying South Africa should should automatically be better than Ireland and everything but we the, the, the South Africans play New Sounds Zealand like a hell of a lot more often it's, it's it's law of averages really I mean Australia haven't done it either and Australia play them the most often in in Eden Park uh, what about like, South Africa so a three test series against Wales anything less than a 3-0 test series whitewash would be a bit of a shock um no Actually, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be play a bit of uh, Kerry Yerism here and actually say that uh, Wales. I'm not gonna say Wales are gonna win. Wales are not gonna win the series. They might win a test, and would probably be the third test. But I got everyone saying that South Africa is gonna win and it's gonna be a bloodbath. Like that's been the the general tone that I've that I've picked up from all, all over the place, even in Wales, um, and. People seem to forget that Wales is South Africa's bogey team. It's never been a, a classic. It's never been a phenomenal rugby match whenever I, uh, South Africa play Wales. It's just, it's never happened. Um, you just have to look at the last two quarterfinals of the World Cup. Or well, sorry, was it a semi final um, in 2019? Mm. The, the last two World Cup um, knockout matches that South Africa played and, and beat, beat Wales, it was like three, maximum of three points. Ah, they but were Wales horrible, are shambles at the moment. Come on. Games. Ah no, but I mean it d- doesn't matter. They were a shambles in twenty in twenty eighteen when um, Rusty Erasmus took over and they lost. Rusty Erasmus lost to Wales in his first Test match. Well, I think uh, he's taken that well, and things have gone well for Razzy uh, since then. Uh, Nathan, keep up the positivity. We're unbeaten against New Zealand in the USA, which is very true. Yes. And SKG. Whew. Listen. Uh, don't be taking a summer holiday down in Limerick because Cullum has been in touch to point out, and really, I should, I should have got this, shouldn't I? How could anybody forget this? Your man is wrong. Munster kept New Zealand scoreless in 1978. I said nil. test matches. The, the, the stat oh, was test matches. This was bigger than a test match. Oh, yeah, but I mean, it's a, it's a two God, again. This, this, was, like, I, I, yeah, this is on a I mean, whole other level. Oh, yeah, no, no. that was uh, I, Munster, I actually, province. New Zealand, the might of the All Blacks, took them down 12 nil. You're trying yeah. to downplay what happened in 1978. No, not at all. But uh, the, 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 I wasn't taking that into account in Test matches, not tour matches. I mean, by 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 by, by that record, then if if uh, if Ireland happened to beat the Maori All Blacks in two weeks' time on a Tuesday, did that mean that they've won in New Zealand? Well, I think you'll find the games in New Zealand, and we'll have won a match in New Zealand, and the team will have been wearing black jerseys, and we'll probably right now take that. I'll tell you. <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, and I, to be honest, I, I actually wasn't wasn't thinking of the uh, of the Munster game. To be honest. All right. Uh, well, listen. Now it'll be seared into your brain forever. SKG, thank you very much. Cheers, Nathan. Uh, Meaningful metrics and off the ball in partnership with Whoop, the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. See Whoop.com for more. Meaningful metrics on off the ball in partnership with Whoop the personalised digital fitness and health coach that helps you unlock your inner potential. See whoop.com for more.